great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Wichita State Shockers and the Kansas Jayhawks. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, it looks like an m and but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favor. The Jayhawks are in for what should be an easy one tonight, Dick, but how do they stay interested enough to win this game? Interested enough, Brad. They still have to do the following things. First of all, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Next, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Finally, don't let turnovers decide the game. Protect the ball. Take care of the basketball. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court, and let's get the action underway. Both teams looking to get things going here. The skip pass is picked off. Down inside. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Trying to feed the low block. Thinks about the shot. Tries for two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Looking for a good shot. Rollins receives the ball, blocks the shot. Now trying to feed the low block. They work it back to the outside. Look at that spacing. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. He shoots from right of the circle. No good. Harvey handles the pass. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Kansas are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Number 11, pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The point guard handles the feed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. Tickles a twine. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Jumps into the defender. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Go into the low block. Bryant receives the pass for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looks at the three. It's good. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Harvey. 
Harvey is fired up and ready to go. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, the coaching staff knew this would be a key heading into tonight's matchup. This is something they stressed during pregame, and it's something they're talking about on the benches right now. The message, get the ball inside. Guys, they're doing that. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance to really to win. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He keeps his dribble as they reset. He bombs from outside. You betcha. That's a 7 nothing run. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Stolen away. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a duck. Where's he going? Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Jumps in. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He takes the shot off the baseline. Drains it. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. On the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he... There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. The ball goes out of play. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. For two, he puts it in with contact and all. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He draws a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The student body is rocking tonight. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Gave it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. How about a replay, boys? They 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They work the perimeter. From the top of the circle, he drills it from downtown. Let's go to the videotape for that one. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. There's the trap. He takes it away. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He looks for the bomb. He gets the shot to fall. Tradition is big around these parts. A lot of passion in history. Years and years of success have built this program up to where it is today. Isn't it awesome, Brad? You walk into the building and you know you're somewhere special. He wants a three. Way off target. the dribble gives it up gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post here's another look dick <laughs> dick he's still applying great pressure on the dribbler the Jayhawks have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Lewis is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? Thanks, Aaron. Ten seconds to shoot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. He goes to the line for the first time. Gets his first. Both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. MBN. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I'll tell you, great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Looking for a good shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. The lay -in. <laughs> A 
How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Fires away. He nails the shot. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. He gets the rejection. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Lewis looks to be down emotionally. Brad, he's at what many people call a funk. Emotionally, he's got to turn things around. Kicks it out. That's basic. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. For two, and off the mark. Gave it up, he intercepts it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. He unloads a three, scorches the net. This crowd will go crazy if they get a shot to go down here. On the dribble, gives it up, goes up for two, and in and out. Foul plus the bucket, big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Look out, he's in the face of the opposition. I don't know if all of that is necessary, Brad. He goes to the line. He buries it. Oh my, the screener is leveled by the defender on that pick. He strips him clean. Kansas have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good.
Gave it up. Picks off the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. On the outside, he's got some room. Sinks the shot. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. He's got the lead offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. down low there's a drop step and oh good defense I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow on the outside trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing and now they'll bring it up stolen here we go on the break Looking for contact. Basket falls despite the contact. This one deserves another look, Brad. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Picks off the lazy pass. Perfectly executed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Good job defensively. Sets a screen for his teammate. The bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Up and inside. For two. He keeps his dribble long enough to run his guy off the screen and slide in for the nice deuce. And he'll kick it back outside. He puts up the three ball. Buried it. Opportunity for two for one. Looking for a good shot. Set that screen away. Controlling the ball. Kicks it out. Will take the shot. Knocks it down. Shot clock is dead. Leans in. Perfectly executed. Working it around the perimeter. From right in the circle. He buries the shot. At the end of the first half, the Shockers are trailing by six. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Kansas shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution. Played a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense.
Dick, you start looking at this when you were a coach and you were down this big at halftime. <laughs> what are you thinking? Let's get out of here? They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? shot he gets it to fall from the top of the key he is just lighting it up Dick. he's beating his man for the spot and hit the shots Brad the ball goes out of bounds Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here and you get balled like I am. From way outside. Great shot. Terry look from three-point land. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up and in. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Isn't it great, Brad? And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Gave it up. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Off the rim and no good. With the jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. He's money with a shot. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. High post flasher is open. Unloads a three. Way off target. Trying to draw some contact. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. On the dribble, gives it up. The center in the paint, trying to draw the foul. The double team can't contain him. That's not how you work a double team, Brad. You and I got to go show him the double team. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Watch out, five second ball approaching. Intercepted. There's a high screen. The ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. They work it around the perimeter. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Oh, 
Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. There's a double team waiting there. There's the fake. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For the bucket. I love this guy, Hook. You can't unblock that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Gave it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He threw down that dunk and got the foul. That was powerful. Wow. He went right through the foul. Bryant goes to the line for the first time. Good. They scored seven in a row. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. He tries the three. Oh, yes. On the outside. Entry pass in the paint. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. He was locking on the box. Unloads. He gets it to go. Way out on top, controlling the ball. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Kansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Takes away the pass, pushes it up, jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up on the inside. He uses the shot fake. Goes up for two. I did this great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nice hops. <laughs> Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. And the ball goes out of play. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 7. They get that rejected.
Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as expected, the favorite has led the way through most of this one, and that's what happens when you have the makeup of a great team. Looking for a good shot. Ten seconds on the clock. He attempts the three. You betcha. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Looking for the foul, he drains it. On the dribble, gives it up, pump fakes. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Moving it around the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. The Shockers are down by 16. They'll work it around the arc. He puts up the tray. Drains the shot. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense, half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually at top of the stand because they can play that style. Jumped in front to take it away. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Is a three off the rim and no good. Up and inside. He's open if he wants the shot. Tries to get the D to bite. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. The shooting guard takes the pass in the paint. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. In the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Time to pick up the defense here now. The Jayhawks are up by 18. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Sinks it. the dribble gives it up fakes it and a momentary look from three-point land that was nice we're gonna move it around the perimeter steals a pass gave it up nice high post screen the ball goes out of bounds Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Work 
working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint for the bucket. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Buried it. The Shockers are behind by 19. getting it done and emotionally it's bringing them down well dick what's the backcourt situation looking like to you i tell you brad guard play is such a huge part of the college game can't win without great guard play backcourt play dictates your team's success their play must be steady consistent controlling the tempo in a game distributing the ball scoring and pressuring on a defensive end they are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. That's a foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. He'll get the free ones. He makes the first. for a good shot. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. He shoots from downtown. Way off target. Buchanan draws the personal. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. Buchanan steps to the line for the first time. You, you can't miss free throws, Dick. It's going to kill you somewhere down the line. Well, you got to convert. That's the one thing, like football, special situations, you got to be able to execute there. He makes it. He intercepts it. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. <laughs> Gotta think right now. Gotta focus defensively. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. They're working around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. He comes away with it. Here they go into transition. Looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Dump it inside. Leans in. In and out. Thompson pounded on his way up. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, welcoming shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess.
Takes those free throws, come on. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Double team now, bad angle. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. There's the trap. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Up and inside. For two. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes. They'll work it around the arc. Fakes the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Stolen away. Looking for a good shot. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Working it around the perimeter with a jump hook. And he missed. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. He'll visit the charity strike. Free throw is good. Rims off. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. Puts it up, looking for contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Momentary look from three-point land. He throws it up from downtown. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. out of play. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. This defense simply swarms the ball and they cause a five second violation. They're set to throw it in from the side. Shot clock is dead. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Gave it up. Oh, 
think it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. I'll tell you, they always find a way to regroup whenever things are getting really tough. They regroup and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Kansas wins this game in convincing fashion. Well, they came into favorites and they did not disappoint. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.